snap. As Matt goes ahead behind that much improved offensive line for Indianapolis. Yeah, it starts with Quentin Nelson, the all pro left guard. He brings the mentality up front. They need to stop this defensive line. They have to run the football, establish it. That's tough going against the Texans because they're one of the top teams in the league. But everything the Colts offense wants to do, play action, get it to T.Y. Hilton, stretch the field, comes off that running game. So if they can be efficient with it, look for Andrew Luck, then to play fake it and take his shots downfield to T.Y. Hilton. Third and seven. And that's Mack. It's trip. Here's Mack again. And look at the running room for Marlon Mack as he's finally pushed out by Justin Reed. Well, the best thing that Marlon Mack does is he gets out in space, and his linemen are phenomenal pulling around. See, Ryan Kelly is lead blocker, center. They cut on these guys, and Mack has the speed to get on the edge. And that's going to be a big part of this running game for the Colts today. You see the numbers on Mack. You know, he missed four games this season with a hamstring. But since week six onward, the fourth most rushing yards in the league. Able to wiggle his way free again before he's driven down by the Honey Badger at the 40. Look, Mack trying to get to the pylon, and he's pushed out short that time as it was Jackson coming over defensively but six yards on the reception to Mack. Well, Mack just gets another job where they're getting their, their guys in space. He's going to set a pick route so that... Mack can come out here on the flat, and once they get that bump, turn it around, you see Pascal right there forcing him to have to run the hump. The linebacker, McKinney, he can't get through there. It's all about Mack. Gets over. Mack with blockers in front, and another touchdown for the Colts. That's two for two on these nearly flawless drives for Indianapolis. Well, that offensive line, it's been talked about how these guys do it. But watch this left side. They just full zone it, mauling them off the line, saying we've heard all about J.J. Watt and Clowney and this defensive line. We're going to run the football against a stout defense. And Mack, with great patience, allows playoff clinch and win at Tennessee with an interception as well. There's Marlon Mack trying to get to the outside of Cunningham. And Mack just has incredible vision, right? He can change directions. That's a run to the right. Yeah. And he can feel his, the blockers coming down on the inside. There goes Clowney underneath. He sees it and goes back out to the outside. So his change of direction, his vision, it fits this offense nicely because he knows Clowney's a wild card. Yeah. He's going to do a lot of different things. And if you can feel that in real time, you can have runs like that. He's a really good play caller. Sure is. Ask Eagles fans, last year's offensive coordinator for that Super Bowl run. And look at how they've turned things around. And now back to business with Marlon Mack. There's a continued push there from Gawinski, and that is not a good sign as Hopkins then take an early exit. There's Mack again, and this time Mack will go ahead for a first down as coming up. He starts this second half, their first possession on the ground with Marlon Mack, who gets ahead to the 15. So Mack trying to get back to work here. On uh, first down, almost able to get free. That was wrapped up by Powell. Two of you. Second and four. As a good cut that time by Mack. Look at Mack weave his way past midfield. Missed tackles by the Honey Badger and Andre Howe. 29-yard run by Marlon Mack. Watch Nelson, though. He comes down on the down block. He secures it. All you're looking for is space and if yeah. your guard can knock the defense alignment into the other gap guess what? You open up a huge lane for your running back and then he gets to the second level Here's Matt trying to go straight ahead We'll leave him with a third and about two big plays on the ground this year one timeout remains so First time Texas. all year. Yep. Both teams have not allowed 100 yard rusher this year well, Houston's defense, look, they, the Colts didn't even punt in the first half, Yeah. right? They had four possessions where they forced punts. They've rallied up, 
got stops. And certainly none are bigger than this one right now. There's third down as Mack is going to try to push ahead. And we'll see where they mark him here. And that's Merciless and Reader Hishnal down the stretch of the season. And as Mack will continue to work it. And then we're going to wrap things up here. We'll see how it plays out tonight. Second and seven for now. And Mack adds to his total and more. Spinning past midfield. What a day for Marlon Mack. 15 more yards and you know with that run right there I've been waiting all year to do it, but you know Former Dallas Cowboy Dandy Don would say turn out the lights <laughs> The party's over. Oh, it's over and the six seed is advancing. Yeah 10 out of the last 11 incredible JJ Watt was <laughs> Then you think about the future of this team look at Matt Marlon Matt Just shredding through this defensive front 26 more yards for Mac remember he missed four games came back and he has been phenomenal today